slumber, the portal to our inner depths, the entrance to the limitless wellspring of creation, as distilled from Neville Goddard's writings, specifically feeling is the secret. Have you taken a moment to reflect on the possibility that your subconscious may hold the keys to unleashing your full capabilities? Truly, the subconscious is a reservoir of creativity and answers, with slumber serving as the effortless conduit to this realm. But the question arises, how can we apply this insight to transform our existence? How might we master our dreamscapes and initiate a discourse with our innermost thoughts? In this presentation, we're set to guide you through methods and practices to establish a connection with your subconscious during periods of rest and mediation. Embrace this chance to tap into your latent abilities and realize your most profound aspirations. I urge you to view this video to its conclusion for an enhanced comprehension of the insights shared. Remember, knowledge is an invaluable possession that remains unassailable, and it is through action that we actualize our learnings. So, take the initiative and begin to integrate today's lessons into your life. Subscribe for ongoing access to transformative materials such as this. Should you find this video beneficial, please pass it on to someone in your circle. We are grateful to all. It is during slumber, and in states akin to slumber, that one may traverse into the subconscious. Slumber acts as the threshold through which our waking minds can harmoniously unite with the subconscious. Given that slumber accounts for a third of our earthly sojourn, it stands as the natural passageway to the subconscious. This is why our current focus is on rest. The extent to which we engage with our dreams reflects upon the two-thirds of our conscious life. Our grasp and appreciation of what slumber has to bestow will, over successive nights, carve a route to it, akin to an encounter with a beloved in a dream or nocturnal apparition. When deep slumber overcomes people as they lie in their beds, it is then that he opens the ears of humans and seals their guidance. It is in rest, or in states resembling rest, that one enters the subconscious to imprint intentions and receive directions. In these moments, the conscious and subconscious engage in a creative union. The masculine and feminine aspects converge. Slumber is the occasion when the conscious masculine withdraws from the empirical world to rendezvous with its feminine counterpart, the subconscious. Unlike earthly companions who might seek to transform their partners, the subconscious has no such aspirations toward consciousness, it embraces consciousness in its entirety. It faithfully manifests its counterpart's image in the physical realm. The circumstances and occurrences of your life are its progeny, born from the subconscious's impressions. In slumber, these are crafted in the image and semblance of your innermost sentiments, which can be disclosed to you just as they are in the celestial, so on the terrestrial. As it is within the subconscious, so it manifests on earth. Whatever occupies your thoughts as you drift into slumber is the scale of your life's conscious expression. The only hindrance to realizing your aspiration is the failure to feel the state of your wish being fulfilled. Your subconscious actualizes your desires solely when you embody the sentiment of your wish being realized. The subconscious's natural state during slumber is where all originates, and your self-perception dictates what will emerge. Prior to slumber, you must immerse yourself in the sensation that your desire is already fulfilled. You never summon from the depths what you desire, you beckon what you embody and you are the embodiment of your feelings. As you harbor feelings for others, so shall they be realized. Thus, the desire must transform into the sensation of being or experiencing the desired state. This is attained by adopting the feeling of your wish fulfilled, the response that arises to the query, how would I feel if my wish were now realized? This emotion should dominate and direct your focus as you ease into slumber. You must be conscious of being or possessing your desire prior to entering slumber. Once in the realm of sleep, one loses volition, the slumbering state is wholly governed by the last waking self-image. Therefore, one must always settle into the feeling of fulfillment and contentment before night's retreat. Enter his gates with gratitude, and his courts with praise. Your mental state pre-slumber determines your consciousness as you enter the domain of the perpetual companion, the subconscious. Your subconscious perceives you precisely as you believe yourself to be. As you ready for slumber, adopt the consciousness of achievement by feeling, I am triumphant. Position yourself for rest with your head aligned with your body. Sense as though your ambition is realized and serenely transition into the depths of unconsciousness. 
he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Yet, to his beloved, he bestows rest. The subconscious is ever alert, slumber is the gateway through which conscious thoughts creatively engage with the subconscious. The unseen act of creation unfolds as the physical world, and slumber reflects what one impresses upon the subconscious. During slumber, one imprints their self-conception onto the subconscious. The most poetic portrayal of this interplay between consciousness and subconsciousness is narrated in the Song of Solomon, On my bed by night I sought him whom my soul loves. I sought him but found him not, I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares, I will seek him whom my soul loves. In preparation for rest, embody the sensation of your inquiry being answered, and then gently succumb to unconsciousness. Your realized wish is your nightly quest in the solace of your bed. You are in pursuit of the feeling of your wish fulfilled so that you may carry it into the chamber that bequeaths you with slumber, the subconscious, which has fashioned you, enabling this desire to also find expression. This is the path to discovering and ushering your wishes into the subconscious. Live in the state of your wish fulfilled and quietly let yourself drift off to sleep night after night. You must embrace the feeling of being, possessing, and observing what you aspire to become, have, and witness come to fruition. Never retire for the night feeling disheartened or discontent, never allow the consciousness of defeat to accompany you to bed. Your subconscious, inherently dormant, sees you as you consider yourself to be. And whether you deem yourself to be positive, negative, or neutral, the subconscious will faithfully manifest your conviction. As you impress upon it with your sentiments, it becomes the perfect architect of form. These imprints express themselves as the offspring of your affection. You are altogether beautiful, my darling, there is no flaw in you. The mental disposition to adopt before slumber is to overlook the physical and embrace the sensation of things being as you desire them. For he calls into existence the things that do not exist, and what is unseen becomes manifest. To embody the feeling of contentment is to acknowledge these conditions that mirror contentment as though they were already present. Signs do not herald the manifestation, rather, it is the awareness of who you are that paves the way. You are an eternal dreamer, dreaming finite dreams. Your dreams materialize when you assume the sensation of their reality. Limit not yourself by the past, acknowledging that consciousness knows no bounds. Dare to envision states surpassing previous experiences. Whatever the human mind can conceptualize, it can realize. All tangible states initially existed as intangible ones, and you brought them to visibility by assuming the sensation of their reality. The creative process commences with imagination followed by the conviction in the imagined state. Always visualize and anticipate the finest outcomes. The external world cannot shift unless you alter your perception of it. As within, so without. Nations, like individuals, are what you conceive them to be, irrespective of the issue, location, or individuals involved. The only change required is within yourself, and you encounter neither adversary nor ally in effecting this change. Within, you need only persuade yourself of the reality of the state you seek to manifest. Once convinced of the state's reality, subsequent results will reinforce your steadfast belief. Never propose to another a state you wish them to embody. Rather, assure yourself that they have already become what you wish for them. The realization of your desire is born through the sentiment of the wish fulfilled. You can only falter if you lack conviction in the reality of your aspiration. A shift in belief is verified by a transformation in expression. Each night as you drift to sleep, feel fulfilled and blameless, for your subjective partner perpetually molds the objective world in alignment with your conception, as dictated by your emotions. The two-thirds of your conscious life on earth consistently corroborate or testify to your subconscious imprints. The day's activities and occurrences are outcomes, not origins. Free will is confined to the day's choices. Whom you serve is your prerogative, selecting the mood you embody. Yet, the manifestation of that mood is the secret held by the subconscious. The subconscious assimilates impressions solely through one's emotions and, in a manner unique to itself, gives form and existence to these impressions. One's actions are steered by subconscious imprints. The illusion of autonomous will, the belief in the liberty of action, is merely unawareness of the factors that prompt action. 
one senses freedom because they have lost sight of the connection between themselves and their deeds. The awakened individual is compelled to express the imprints of the subconscious. Should there have been imprudent impressions in the past, let them now reorient their thoughts and feelings. For only in action does one reshape their universe. Let not the opportunity for transformation slip by, to dwell emotionally on past mistakes is to resurrect the expired. Leave behind appearances and adopt the feeling of possession. If you already embodied what you desire, feeling a state brings it into being. The part you enact on the global stage is dictated by your self-image. Ensconce yourself in the feeling of your wish realized and gently transition to sleep, casting yourself in a pivotal role to enact on Earth tomorrow. As you rest, you rehearse and receive guidance for your role. Accepting the end inherently equips you with the means for its attainment. Do not delude yourself in this regard. Indeed, as you consciously ready for slumber, should you not embody the sentiment of the wish fulfilled, you will carry to your rest the accumulation of the day's conscious reactions and emotions. As you slumber, you will be schooled on their expression come morrow. You will awaken under the impression of being a free agent, oblivious to the fact that the day's actions and events are predestined by your self-concept. In slumber, your solitary liberty is your response. You are at liberty to select your emotional response to the day's drama, but the narrative, actions, events, and circumstances have been prearranged, unless you consciously choose and intend otherwise. The emotional stance you adopt as you fall asleep will unconsciously become the aggregate of the day's emotions and responses. Each response engraves a subconscious impression, and unless negated by a more potent and contrasting emotion, it becomes the catalyst for future actions. Emotions entwined with beliefs are the building blocks of action. Exercise your divine privilege with wisdom. Your capacity to think and feel bestows upon you dominion over all of creation. In wakefulness, you are a cultivator selecting seeds for your garden. Yet, unless a seed is buried and decomposes, it remains solitary. But in its decay, it yields abundant life. Your self-conception as you yield to slumber is the seed sown into the subconscious soil. Retire to rest feeling content and joyous, and the circumstances and occurrences in your life will affirm these mental stances. The dream is the corridor to the divine. What you internalize as sensation, you project as condition, action, or entity within the world, slumber in the conviction of the wish fulfilled, as a conscious being on earth. I trust you have gleaned substantial knowledge about tapping into your subconscious through rest and contemplation. Now is the moment to employ all that you've absorbed and commence enjoying the fruits of a profound rapport with your inner psyche. Delay no further, embark on your journey of transformation today and awaken to your untapped potential. Don't overlook subscribing to our channel for further insights into personal growth and spirituality. Warm regards, and looking forward to our next video.